Hi Sagittarius. I know you guys have been waiting a long time and I'm so sorry it's taken so long to get to your reading. <clears throat> I just put up the Scorpio reading and everyone that I know that's a Scorpio that's actually in Europe and was awake started blowing up my phone and then my amazing Scorpio followers and subscribers and viewers started blowing up the comments with so much love and so much support and I'm so grateful so I just had to take a little time to respond and you know just get back to people and thank people and stuff because it you know as you can see in that video it you know it was hurting my feelings a little bit what was going on but now I feel fine you guys helped me thank you I feel so much better so now Sagittarius the thing is that for you guys um I don't know if there's like an easy way to say this there's some painful things coming up here for you guys and I already feel it and I know to a certain extent what it is that's going on with you guys and it's hard to talk about because what's coming up is painful and it's painful in a way that's particularly painful for Sagittarians so what I mean by that is you guys have a partnership in your life that means a lot to you. Um, and it's not working. And it's not that it's not working because of you, which is why it's really frustrating because I feel like Sagittarians, as long as they feel like they can do something and they can uh, get to the point, you know, Sagittarians, remember, it's like, a, it's a centaur, yes, but he has an arrow. He's, he's got a bow and arrow. He gets right to the point. She gets right to the point. So people of that nature, what they like to do is they like to get right to the point. And then the, the point of getting to the point is so you can solve stuff. So you can grow from it. So you can build bridges between people. So you can evolve past whatever it is that's holding you back. And so when something doesn't work out for that personality type, it can be really, really painful. Because they're like, wait a minute. You know, I have the intelligence, I have the wherewithal, I have the talents needed to bridge the gaps between people, to make people understand each other, to, you know, be that bringer together of um, all sorts of different elements and, and, and make something beautiful out of them. People like that, people like you really love to bring things together, people together, concepts together, ideas together. And so when something doesn't work when something breaks you know you guys are the bridge builders you're not the breakers you're the builders so when something breaks it really hurts and you guys don't get hurt very often like you I mean you're human you get hurt but you take it in stride you know you have all these other stride half horse like you take it in stride you have other things going on all the time you have other projects going on you're focusing on work you're focusing on yourself you're focusing on your relationship you have all these different you know compartments that you keep for the most part organized and not separate from each other but you are very clear on what your obligations are and they don't bother you you know you take a lot of pride and joy in the things that people expect of you and the roles that you have uh, volunteered to play in people's lives and in relationships. You, you really value that in yourself and in others, but mostly, you know, in yourself. So when things don't work out for somebody like that, for that personality type, when a partnership dissolves, when a work situation dissolves, when a friendship dissolves, when a relationship dissolves, it's painful in a whole different way for Sagittarians. It's not necessarily, oh my God, my heart is broken. It's, I couldn't do it. I couldn't fix it. I couldn't make the connection. Why couldn't I make the connection? You guys get into a funk because you're like, no, but this is my superpower. I build bridges. I bring things together. Why am I not able to bring these things together? Why is this breaking apart in my hands? Why is this happening? You know, it's the worst. It's the worst. I think part of the reason that I was, you know, avoiding doing the Sagittarian reading is because just even in my personal life, the Sagittarians, I know I don't want to hurt them with this news, even though I can see, you know, from the cards, from the planets, and from my personal experience with my Sagittarians that I see the dissolution of things coming and it's 
it's so hard because, you know, you do blame yourselves. You're very, very hard on yourselves. You're very, very, very hard on yourselves. Okay? And this is the energy. I don't know why this camera is doing this right now. I'm sorry. This is the energy. Come on. There we go. Hi. This is the energy that you lay on yourself when things don't work. It's always, you know, Sagittarians don't, are not the sign that goes to others and says, oh, uh, that person is the reason this thing didn't work out. If that person was more like this. Sagittarians are the ones who are like, I should have been better. I should have done it. I should have fixed it. I was smart enough to know better. I should have done something about it. You know, so that feeling that you guys have, it's just, it can make setbacks even worse, is what I mean. It can make things that you should be resilient towards, or you, you could respond with resilience. It can, it can really take you down, because it's not just the thing that's happening, it's now the thing that's happening plus your reaction to the thing that's happening, which is, oh my god, this is my fault. Somehow this falls squarely on my shoulders. And the thing is, that's really a misuse of your superpower, right? Because taking responsibility is a beautiful thing. And you guys do it so well. Taking too much responsibility, blame, taking blame, seeing it as being responsible, but really what you're doing is taking blame on yourself that's not a good thing, you know, because what you do is you attract people who don't want to take responsibility, who would very much like to blame you instead, you know, and so you end up attracting people who are emotionally immature and emotionally selfish. And then when things don't work out between you and that person, instead of being able to put the blame where it belongs, which is like, yeah, we both tried, we're both pretty culpable, you know, we're both at fault here. Generally, you're attracting people who are like, no, it's all his fault. No, it's all her fault. She did it. And you guys are more than happy to carry that bag of bricks, to carry that guilt and say, yeah, you know, you're right. I could have been better. I could have been smarter. Because the thing is, it comes from a place of confidence. I understand that. I understand that Sagittarians know that you guys are the bomb and that you have everything you need to do well in the world. And so... That confidence, when it turns on you, when all of a sudden you go from, I have all the resources I need to be the best I can be, to I had all the resources I needed to be the best I could be, so it's even worse that I screwed it up. So it's even worse that it didn't work. That little leap that you make in logic, it may seem very logical to you. It may seem super logical to you, but it's not fair. It's not fair to you, and especially not at a time like this when something is going to be dissolving, when the wheel is going to be turning, when you will be feeling pain at the dissolution of something or someone leaving. The worst thing you can do right now is be like that with yourself. The worst thing you can do right now is to beat yourself up on top of what is already going to be a painful experience, okay? Here's the thing. Instead, we can look at this painful experience as something to grow from. Maybe there are parts of your personality that you should temper a little bit, you know? Maybe there is an element to your personality that can kind of run over people a little bit if they're of a gentler nature, if they're, you know, if you're dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces or, or someone who's just a bit mutable by nature and, and you, you know, the Pisces is what comes to mind, this very mutable kind of energy that's just really wants to love you and 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 work with you and be your partner and create things with you and do art with you or whatever they're doing with you they really want to do those things with you but your fire is burning so bright and so much longer and so much hotter than theirs that they get lost in your fire and if that happens enough times, they get to a point where they start thinking badly of you when you're not really, a, I mean, you're not a bad person at all. You guys, you reinforce the structure of our world. You know, we need Sagittarians so much, right? So 
that fire that may burn too bright for some people, this is how I need you to look at this. This person who is going to leave, this partnership that is going to dissolve, please don't beat yourself up with that. Please don't go into a place where you start thinking that this is all your fault because it will debilitate you. It will, it will, it becomes, it will hurt you. It becomes a liability when you take that much responsibility. Don't take too much responsibility. If this other person feels like you were too fiery, well, you know what? That's not fair. You being you doesn't mean that you're too anything for anyone. Maybe that person just needs someone different. That person needs somebody maybe gentler, maybe more subtle. That doesn't mean you have to be gentler or more subtle. That, that means that that person needs to go find someone who's better for them to partner up with. You know, whether it be love or career or whatever, it doesn't matter. Don't use it to beat yourself up. And I'll tell you why. Because this is a little test that's going on for you. If you are able to survive this test towards the end of this month... There's some really incredible things that are going to happen, but they're not going to happen until you feel this dark night of the soul. You feel this these moments where there's person that you really wanted this partnership, this relationship, this work thing, this, you know, art project, whatever it is that you really wanted that it to work out with that person when you feel like, I keep doing this while I'm doing your reading because I just feel... This is what I do when I feel bad. When I'm trying to, like, calm myself. Home alone face. You know, like, I feel it. I feel you guys just being like, Oh my God, is this not going to work? Oh my God, I, can't, I don't want to lose this partnership. I don't want to lose this person. What's going to happen to my money? What's going to happen to my... What's going to happen to where I live? Like, there's a lot of, like, ah! And what I'm saying is... Yes, that that does exist for you guys. It is going to be there. That feeling of like, oh no, oh God, you know, oh no, oh no. That's kind of the face I was making, right? Oh no, you know, and, and people will say, well, it's because of you. It's because you're like this, you're like this, you're like this. No. You know, and you'll be like, oh, I really wanted this to work out. I really, look how it was. It was, when it was good, it was so good. No. No. Sagittarius, you still win, okay? It's not that. It's just that you need to go through this period. Because although this may not be completely accurate... There is something to be said for some growth that can happen here from insight into this. Like what I'm saying is don't let this dissolution be for nothing. Don't let this person leaving your life be in vain. Okay? And how do you how do you not how do you ensure that it's not in vain? You learn something from it. So what can you learn from this situation that you haven't seen about yourself yet what level of self-awareness here do you need to reach that you haven't reached yet and how will that open up your life so let's look here there is a need for self-awareness there is a sense here of you being too bossy too in control too wanting everything to be your way okay that's fine that's fine. Like I said, that's you. That's who you are. I'm not saying change who you are. I'm not even saying feel bad for who you are. I'm saying that the insight that you can receive now from this situation and from this painful ending, okay, the insight that you can receive is that, yes, you are like this. However, tempering this personality here does not mean that you have to stop being her. You don't have to stop being her. Tempering doesn't mean you stop being the queen or the king. That's not what it means. Tempering means that you understand that sometimes you need to give people a little room to make their own mistakes, to take their own risks, to not be completely taken care of, to not be led in a direction. You like leading people in a direction because you're like, listen, I got this bow and arrow. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to hit the mark. It's going to be perfect. Let me take control. And what the universe is saying is, no, let me take control. Not you. 
Let me take control. This partnership, this relationship, this business deal, it's over. And yes, it will seem, even if it's subtle, that it, it will seem like the blame is being put on you. That there wasn't enough space given. That there was too much domineering. But here's the thing. Don't give in to that. Know yourself. Know yourself better than that. Know that the only reason this is being portrayed the way it is is because it's the only way that this person gets to walk away from you with a clear conscience. Because let's face it, Sagittarius, it's not just ever one person doing something. So if this person is coming to you and saying, well, it's all you, well, right away you know that this person is either just too hurt to be logical, right? Or they're just full of it. Because how is it ever one person's fault? It's not, okay? So that's one of the reasons not to sink into the depths of despair. The sorrow you feel on an abstract level for whatever you had with this person and the possibilities there could have been. You know, that's part of what it is. Oh man, we could have done so much together. You know, the frustration is there of like, just, oh, why? Why can't we get along? Why isn't it working? Why can't it be like it was before? What do I need to do? I'm so lost. And what the universe is saying is, it's okay. We've meant to make you lost. It's time for you to relinquish control. It's time for this wheel to spin. It's time for the universe to be back in control of Sagittarian's life like it needs to be to get you where you need to be. And right now, where you need to be is learning this lesson of self-awareness. How do you come off to people and what is it that you can finesse? Not turn into a different person. Not temper the fire right out of yourself. Because if that's what this person is asking from you, that's highly unfair. No, this is about how do we, in a very accepting way of whatever our nature is, how do we get more in touch with that nature? How do we learn more about our authentic self and what it actually is like? Okay? Because here's the thing, often the authentic self is deemed by others who are not actualized as being too domineering and too bossy and too this, but that's because they're not there yet. And so from their vantage point, this looks like snobbery, this looks like arrogance. But really, when you get here, it's not snobbery, it's not arrogance, it's just awareness of how much you have to offer and how valuable your insight is and how valuable what you bring into the world is, right? Again, Sagittarians are bridge builders. Without Sagittarians, we got nothing, okay? They're the ones that bridge gaps in music, culture, theater, everything. You guys are the ones that can, you know, you cross boundaries. I mean, listen, I've never uh, experienced the amount of women who, like, legit adore Brad Pitt from every different culture in the world from the cultures like the most varying cultures everywhere he's bridged this kind of sexual energy gap where he's kind of appealing to every different color ethnicity religion everything this bridge building quality even if he is not the best example he has a worldwide appeal is what i'm trying to say and sagittarians have that often people will ask you where you're from if you're ethnic and they'll say oh you look from like you're from here or from here or from here and sagittarians will always say i look like i'm from everywhere because your mentality is from everywhere. Sagittarians are citizens of the world. You know, things like country boundaries or religion boundaries or ethnicity boundaries, yeah, they're cute, but insofar as how quickly can I break them and make something new out of them? Your identity is not defined by the things that most people's identities are defined by. Your identity, identity is defined by you, okay? So that's what we're getting at here, is that people will try to make you feel like this is how you're being. And it's just, don't believe them. This is not true. Okay, what's actually going on is that you're winning. You will be winning. I know it doesn't sound like that right now. I know it doesn't seem like that from the reading so far. But that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's why all this negativity has kind of come up in the first place that's why this relationship needs to be over because on some level there's jealousy here on some level this other person in your partnership wishes they were you and Sagittarians I know you get this a lot a lot of people wish they were you 
That happens a lot with you guys, okay? So I see what this has done. The stress of this, the dissolution of this will affect your money, okay? But not for long. Even if this is upside down, it's still a great card. It's just, it won't be for long. You won't necessarily just get a bunch of money, but you are going to get a fantastic opportunity, a fantastic opportunity. And what that fantastic opportunity, and this is coming in pretty quick, what that fantastic opportunity is going to provide you is a little bit of, look here, balance. Okay, you already have this Queen of Wands, then the King of Wands. Just balance you out a little bit in terms of your energy. But that doesn't make sense, Amber. They're both fire signs. Yes, but look at them. They complement each other. Okay, so this is speaking to also, what does that look like? That looks a lot like this card. These two people complement each other. So what I'm saying is where the beginning of the month seems really harsh, legally harsh, you may legally be breaking ties with someone, you are going to be super upset about it, you will feel very abandoned, you will be confused, you will be sorrowful, but towards the end of the month, you will start to understand that there are more possibilities open to you right now than you realize, and also that you have a pretty clearly defined identity as a person, and you don't really need people telling you that you're, you know, being too much or this and that. You, you will accept yourself to a greater degree at this time, okay? And naturally, once you do that, boom, love appears, of course, because our authentic self is irresistible. Everybody falls in love with our authentic self, you know. It's just terrifying to actually be one, but not for you, Sagittarius. You guys are brave. You're the kind who are like, I can do anything. Oh, yeah? Well, if you can do anything, please stop doing this. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, it's or it's going to happen, and it's going to be terrible. But things go on. You will move on. You will grow. You will find somebody else. And you won't have to feel like this anymore where you're sorrowful about once you want ha what you once had and can't have anymore, and that's making you sleepless and not very happy, and that's making you super harsh. You understand? So it's all flowing out of this running anxiety that you have that this thing is over. And I wish I could concentrate on more than that, but it's coming through so clearly. Yes, money is going to come in. Yes, it's going to be lucky. Yes, there's things that are going to happen. But this is the thing that you really, really wanted to work out. And it, the universe is like, this can't work out for you. It's not good for you. No, but it seems really good. Yes, it seems really good, but it's not good for you. Okay? So if there's... Anything you can do in this situation to lessen the pain of the dissolution of this thing, it would be not being hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Look forward towards better things. And know that once this darkness is over, once you feel this whole thing pass and this relationship, you know, dissolves, then something really, really, really nice is going to come in for you. Very, very nice. And you will have learned the lesson of this, Sagittarius, and you will be calmer. You will be more tempered, and that will be perfect for this person. Okay? That's exactly what that person needs and exactly what you need. Okay? So, now let's do a little from 12 Doors of the Soul. Twelve doors of the soul. Twelve doors to the soul. Ah, now the bells are ringing. Denmark. Okay, so where are we? Hmm. Scorpio combines the water element with the fixed mode. This much maligned member of the water triplicity has two symbols. The scorpion crawling in the dust with the poisonous sting in its tail and the eagle soaring the sky. These symbols aptly describe the lowest and highest type of Scorpio person. The sign Scorpio is associated with the eighth house, which rules death, regeneration, rebirth, and basic concerns of life, such as sex and other people's money. 
And that's the part of your life being super, super affected right now. It is your partnerships. It is the thing that holds you together. It is when your par partnerships dissolve that you feel the most shaky and the most unlike yourselves and the most hurt. And I think what the book is trying to say and what the cards are trying to say is right now you can't stick. Don't stick to what you always do. Don't stick to what you always know. Don't let yourself fall into the same patterns of feeling that are toxic. Take this opportunity not to fall apart by the dissolution of this thing. Not to immediately rush in and blame somebody, even if it is just being really hard on yourself. Don't do that. Instead, take a step back. Have some emotional intelligence about it. Take a step back and see that ultimately... This awareness, this new understanding was worth the pain and was worth the leaving and was worth the dissolution of the, of the partnership. Okay? That's the most important thing to remember is that what is going to happen is good for you. You may not immediately be able to see it, but it's going to be great for you. Okay? And then money will start to come in because this energetic mess will have cleared itself out a little bit. Okay? I hope that makes sense. All right. I'll see you next month, Sagittarius.